Local students trying to become lawyers of the future need some help from volunteer jurors. Those will be the main ingredients for an evening of mock trials December 13th at Boston's Federal Courthouse. To tell us about the project and maybe win over some jurors are two guests from Discovering Justice, John Spack, the executive director and the legal programs associate, MJ Bastian. Uh, thank you both very much for being with us. Thank you. I'll start with uh, John. Tell us about the program and I guess even the age of yeah. the students you're working with here, too. So thank you for having us on. So Discovering Justice focuses on kindergarten through eighth grade civic education, where our mission is to teach students, people to value um, the justice system, realize the power of their own voices and embrace civic responsibility by connecting courtrooms and classrooms. So we do this in couple of different ways. One is our in-school work partnering with school districts on our curriculum, where we've designed a kindergarten through eighth grade children discovering justice curriculum, which essentially is a social studies civics curriculum that's common core aligned, literacy based, and standards based that teachers um, can use to, as their civics social studies curriculum, or to complement it. And we have a wonderful partnership with Boston Public Schools, in addition to numerous gateway cities in Lawrence and Lowell. And these are schools and districts, as you may, not, may know, um, social studies and history um, is being pushed to the back burner a lot in schools. It's not tested, um, as math and language arts are. Um, in addition, um, I think curriculum and content, um, especially right now, as we see the critical importance of civic education, um, there's a desire to focus more on fairness, justice, and empathy as key elements in understanding our history and how to operate in a democracy and really starting as early as kindergarten. So, you know, over 20,000 students have used our Children Discovering Justice in school curriculum um, over the last couple years. And as I mentioned, we're piloting a unique partnership with Boston Public Schools and merging with their kindergarten curriculum. MJ, not so long ago, you were one of those students in the Boston schools, and you got involved in a program. I don't know if it was this program or something similar. Talk about that experience, what that did for you. So civic education is very important. I think I learned from a young age the, the, the power of my voice. And um, doing programs like mock trial programs or getting into the court at a very young age um, showed me that I have a voice and I have a place in our community and in our in our. Um, um, justice system. So that's one thing I love about working at Discovering Justice. I'm able to kind of combine my passion of education and our justice system by working with students as young as first graders. When you were a student, what motivated you? Because there's a lot of drudge involved in, in being a lawyer. So what made it that, that you wanted to keep come back and do more? I think just interacting with judges. So. Um, I got the opportunity to do a programming in the courts and actually shadow an actual judge and work in their chambers and just being able to interact with someone, like judges as a young person, they're like famous people and like when you get to interact with them you're just like, oh, they're real people too. Um, and just by having those interactions with um, judges and the courts, I was able to kind of um, follow my path and seek other opportunities within our courts. John, you know, when I hear that you're working with students up through middle school grade, yeah. it, it's just hard for me to picture this. I mean, the, 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 the decorum and the focus, I mean, you really make that happen. Yeah, and you know, our in-school curriculum is really, you know, we're able to do that because our incredible partnerships with teachers and our education directors just, and our team has done a wonderful job training and coaching teachers to use our curriculum. But that's our in-school component. Our after-school component is our middle school programming where we have mock trial programs um, where students are working with some of the top law firms and agencies in the Boston area. Um, and many times we partner with an incredible organization called Citizen Schools where middle school students, seventh and eighth graders, are after school going to a uh, Wilmer Hale or a U.S. Attorney's Office and for about two hours a week for 10 consecutive weeks they're working on a mock trial um, where they're going to be doing the opening statement, doing the direct examination, calling witnesses and it culminates in an evening of mock trials which we have this Tuesday night December 13th um, from 5.30 to 7.30 um, where they present their cases um, in front of real judges in the real courthouse as attorneys um, and it's also an incredible volunteer experience to get individuals from the community to sit in those jury boxes and join folks. And, you know, even Supreme Court Justice Breyer in the past has been a juror himself. And we have community leaders and from school elected officials uh, in the business community as well. So the program works because of our great partnerships with schools and the incredible generosity of, uh, in the legal community.
We're talking with John Speck and MJ Bastian from Discovering Justice. MJ, talk about how important that volunteer job is, because <laughs> when you're trying a case, um, those are the people you, you got to get on your side. It's great. Um, we have, um, we actually this year we have um, students as young as fifth graders putting on mock trials, and um, it's it's a real trial for the students, and they we we want a jury of peers and community leaders to sit in the jury box and listen to the kids deliver their arguments and um, direct and cross their witnesses and come we want a verdict at the end so it's important that we have volunteers to come and support our students because they've been working for 10 long weeks to defend their client. John, I guess for, for many of the children you're working with, this is really crossing into new territory because they're dealing with a cross-section of people that are from walks of life that, mm -hmm. that are quite different maybe, and, uh, and they're sort of operating as equals with them. Yeah, I mean, you know, MJ can probably talk more about this too, but, you know, that's part of the process of this experience. They're coming in and they're, and they're treated as young attorneys and they're understanding the case and knowing how to um, dispute um, for their for their side, but and learn how to you know positively and persuasively um, share their argument and really develop you know public speaking skills. Um, you know these students are getting up in front of lots of adults and including a lot of litigators um, who don't get in front of a judge that often, in front of a real judge, and are asked um, to present their cases and persuade the jury. And these are. 12, 13 year olds. And I think that experience and providing the confidence and the framework, MJ does such a wonderful job um, training and supporting the attorneys who also need a lot of work too. You know, these attorneys aren't working with middle school age students unless they are parents usually. And, and, and in more cases, uh, they need just as much uh, support than the students do. MJ, one more bonus is that the volunteer jurors get a splendid view of the waterfront, but uh, <laughs> if, if they want to help out with this, uh, what's the best way for them to get in touch? So they just reach out to us at info at discoveringjustice.org um, and let us know that they're interested. We have um, several spots open for jurors. We have nine teams this um, semester, so on Tuesday around 5.30, we get, we, the program will start and in nine courtrooms at the Moakley Federal Courthouse, we'll have nine um, different groups of students putting on their mock trial before a real life judge. So info at discoveringjustice.org. And uh, we're so thankful that city councilor uh, Andrea Campbell is gonna be the keynote speaker and a juror as well. Um, and so, you know, we also do feed everyone at the end too. So I know it, you look at the, the volunteer commitment of 5.30 to 7.30 as dinner time, but we do feed everyone with a pizza party afterwards <laughs> downstairs to celebrate um, the student work. Justice and pizza, you can't beat that. John no. MJ Bastian from Discovering Justice.